Navigating the changes of safer at home has certainly been a difficult task for entrepreneurs all over South Central Wisconsin. Restaurants in particular have struggled as they haven't been able to have patrons inside their restaurants. We're gonna check in with a place in Monroe. It's called Horseshoe Saloon Pub and Grub. This is Tammy Anderson, co-owner. So nice to see you, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. So we certainly feel for entrepreneurs right now as there's a lot of information to sift through. Things are changing. It's really difficult to operate business. Let's talk a little bit about what you're doing right now, what kinds of services you're able to offer. We are still able to offer carryout and delivery um, for all our food items. We have um, our whole menu is still being offered. And then we have daily specials um, every day. We've been open every day of the week. Um, we've closed a couple times because we are actually taking advantage of this time to do a bunch of remodeling that we wanted to do. Um, but so far it's been really good. Fridays have been great. Wisconsin loves their fish fries and we serve fish. So that's been one of our best days of the week. And so we started as soon as we got shut down on the 17th, the next day we started up with the carry out and delivery services. Well, and so great that you've been able to do that. And, you know, folks around South Central Wisconsin have been really wanting to support their local businesses and local restaurants. Of course, you, they love fish fry, so I love that. Let's talk a little bit about some support of the community and other small business in Monroe and surrounding areas. Um, yes, definitely. Um, I love living in this community for that reason. The, all the small businesses have really come together and supported each other during this time. And it's really been wonderful to see um, different restaurants, different bars that are open, everybody ordering from each other. A lot of the local businesses in town have been rotating and getting um, lunch orders for their employees like one to two times a week. Um, so that has really been great to see and everybody just supporting each other, nobody in competition with each other. It's like everybody just wants to support each other during this time and make sure everybody's still here when this is all over. Yeah, absolutely. And because things have changed so much from week to week and what types of orders we're operating under, obviously, uh, by state, by county, there's questions. Do you have plans for opening and can you share them with us? Yes, we do. Um, we kind of feel like we'll probably have to, right before we closed, we had to do some rearranging the, um, for this. So we plan on going back to that. We space our bar stools like six feet apart. Um, we space our tables six feet apart and then have so many chairs at each table. Um, our staff takes extra precautions with gloves and masks and hand sanitizer. Um, We'll probably up that a little bit more when we open up than before when we close down um, just to be a little bit safer on all those aspects. Yeah, it's interesting because obviously in the industry that you're in, you're already taking a lot of precautions. So a lot of those things are already in place, but things like sanitizing bar stools regularly and, and things, of course, add to your processes. I do want to share with our viewers a minute and a half left in our interview here. I was looking at your menu items and your website. You have a looks like some fabulous food. Talk to us a little bit about your concept. Well, one thing that I'm really proud of is we are famous for our burgers and we use all locally produced beef for our burgers. Uh, another way we like to support local. Um, we just started doing pizzas. That's a new item that we added during this and they have been a huge hit and we'll continue those when we open. So that has been great. Um, we do wraps, we have a lot of um, appetizers. And like I said, our fish fry has been very popular. And tonight we're even gonna try grilled salmon for the first time. All right, that all sound amazing. I encourage our viewers to head to the website and check out those menu items. Of course, ordering for pickup, carry out right now, but we sure can't wait till you can get back to life as normal. And we sure wish you the best of luck in the coming weeks, Tammy. Thank you. I can't wait for everyone to come see our new remodeling and to see everyone again. Thank yeah, I bet it's gonna look amazing there on 10th Avenue in Monroe. Thanks so much. We'll be back with more Talk Wisconsin coming up after the break. Stay right there.